guess ready or not, time's up. Huh. Turn that down and turn that down. Welcome to the Coco Talk Game On Challenge Live. For this week, we will be playing Space Raiders. By Mark Bruderer. Yes, Mark Bruderer. So, grab your joysticks and load it up. And we are already joined by the uh, consistent and uh, quality uh, gaming stylings of uh, Jim Rye. <laughs> Quality gaming stylings, wow. Quality gaming stylings. Yep. Nicest thing anyone said about me. Nicest thing anyone said about me. Raiders. Quality gaming stylings of Wow. Let's see here. The nicest thing anyone said about me. Um, um, yeah, that, uh, yeah, title screen doesn't transition well to, uh, the stream. <laughs> no. Oh, are you in composite? I wonder if I'm, if I have it wrong. No, it's just flickering so fast in two different ways that it's oh i see what you're talking about yeah it looks the joystick wants to move up and down instead of left and right on this screen i hope that's not the way it is in the game And here we are, playing. Ooh, this one may need the high-speed poke. Yeah, it is a bit slow. Also, I was looking at the thing, the uh, ship at the top. Mm -hmm. Don't want to collect more than uh, two rows of them, because otherwise things are acting flaky. Evidently. Well, really. I've forgotten you can collect them. Huh? I've forgotten you can you can collect the ships going over the top instead of they just blowing up. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. I've forgotten you can collect them. Huh? I've 
forgotten you can you can collect the chips going over the top instead of them just blowing up. Oh, you got hit more than once. Oh, you got hit more than once. <coughs> oh, there we go. Oops. Oh, it's got auto fire. That's nice. Oh, it's got auto fire. That's nice. Yay, Ken will be here soon. Yay, Ken will be here soon. Cool. Cool. And the party will be really started. <laughs> Finally. Oops. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. 
Yep. I'll just wait until he comes down a little closer. Yay, got him. I wish this had a uh, start and select switch so that I could hold it down while I turned it on and get double shots. <laughs> Mark B, how you doing today? Hello. Hey, Mark. Hello. I'll probably join you a little later. Um, just, just, just sitting down for dinner. Ooh, what's for dinner? Something frozen out of a bag and another bowl of something frozen out of a bag. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like what I'm probably going to have for dinner. I don't know. The game may be a little too easy at rookie level. I haven't died yet. Something frozen out of a bag and another bowl of something frozen out of a bag. Well, you missed. I've died a couple times, but I've died a couple times, but I think I'm gonna chalk that up to uh, monotonous boredom. Hmm. Or in, in, inattentiveness due to monotonous boredom. <laughs> uh. May have spoken too soon. Can't seem to hit this last one. There we go. Does it actually get any faster? I don't think so. Um, 
The shots seem to come down a little faster. Yeah, because I'm on the sixth wave and. Oh. Sloopy, I see you use the strategy I use. Shoot a hole in the shield. Yeah. Then I don't have to move as much. <laughs> The only problem is, is if they actually shoot one of their shots in that small little sliver. Sloopy, I see you use the strategy I use. Shoot a hole in the shield. Yeah. Then I don't have to move this much. Got him! <laughs> and they got me. Game over. Game over. All right. Now we are also joined by Damon. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Not too bad. Are you going to be flying with us? Uh, if I can get extra or working again. Using a different laptop, so I gotta get reconfigured. Well, if uh, any port in a storm, the X4 online will uh, work. But I would suggest regular app. Using a different laptop. They've got an app for that. They've got an app for that. Well, if any port in the storm, the X4 online will. Ah, we're joined by Ken. Greetings, Ken. Hey, Ken. Hey, Ken. Now Ken can show us how it's really done. Now Ken can show us how it's really done. And there, I now have my uh, microphone turned on. <laughs> That's usually very helpful. Much better, too, because I just turned off the volume of Twitch, so there's not two or three echoes going in my head. <laughs> yeah, one echo is bad enough, right? <laughs> just the natural echo of my brain. Just the natural echo of my brain. I wish I had that. I just have the... Uh... Echo in my head and of a big open space. I get Twitch confused with the voices in my head. I get Twitch confused with the voices in my head. <coughs> yeah, the voices in my head left a long time ago. <laughs> Got bored. <laughs> yeah. Now the scary part is when all the voices in your head start agreeing. Oh, yeah. I wish they'd talk to me. They're mad. I wish they'd talk to me. They're I get mad. Twitch confused with the voices in my head. So, Ken, what happens when you get to your third row of um, um, of the ones at the top? Um, 
I was going to watch Buck Owens' video to see what happens, but I haven't done that yet, so... Well, they definitely start lower after a while. Alright. I'm actually not that good at Space Invaders, so... You should be fine on this one. Yeah. It's not that... <laughs> In retrospect, I probably should have started it at a higher level, but I didn't really have time to test it. So... Yeah. I didn't know if we had an official level we were supposed to start at for the challenge. Well, I had said on easy, but if that's too easy for you, you can go higher. It is very easy. Yeah. Hey, I'm not even done the first level. I've already died. <laughs> really? <laughs> Eventually, you get to the point where it's like... Ooh, they're right on top of me now. You uh, really? die due to... Uh, Inattentiveness due to uh, monotony and boredom. <laughs> That's their strategy. Don't worry yeah. down with boredom. That's their strategy. Hey, I'm not even done the first level. I've already died. Curse you, Space Invaders! Yeah, Ken. Obviously, you are not a Space Invaders player. <laughs> I mean, I've played Space Invaders, but I mean, yeah, played Space Invaders. Not. <laughs> Your best bet is to just stay at the right side and just take them down, column by column. Interesting. I keep forgetting you only have one shot at a time in this game, too. Yeah, that's what I was saying. How do I turn on the uh, reset button? Or how do I click the reset button? I'll, I'll oh. shoot a uh, hole through the shield and fire through that. Yeah, it's about to eat my shields. <laughs> yeah, I suck at this game. I might be the first person to... Uh, uh, yeah, get killed on the first level because the alien comes all the way down. Oh, man, they really do start on top of your shields. Yeah. You've seen it here, folks. The worst game ever played of this. Does it, does it end your game when that happens, like the arcade version did? Is, what? Do they... The, the arcade would take whatever men you had left over if you landed on. Oh, I don't know. I was on my last guy. Oh, I don't know. I was on my last guy. Yeah, it's if they hit the ground, you're you're done. Yeah, you see, Ken, you should be like polishing hiding. Them off. No, just polishing like them off. Yeah, don't wait for go. You should have like moved to the left a little bit and just like yeah, and then go back out and just start nailing that one one column at a time. And then just moved out of the way the bullets would need to. Or you can go to the left a little bit and get under that uh, that uh, base, that shield, and shoot through it and just keep shooting them. In other words, don't die. Yeah. Uh, don't die. Oh, okay, that's what I did wrong in that first game. Right. And you see how you're like just going right through them? I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, it's best to take take them from one end or the other because if you start shooting them in the middle, they come down faster. Yeah. Don't die. Oh, okay, that's what I did wrong in that. Yeah, I'm waiting for Curtis to come online so I can get some more better hit hints. See the master. Yeah. Well, he's the games master. No, I guess I went up to the next level. I went back to one. 
Which one were you on? I was at seven, I think. I was at seven, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. So if you beat level seven, it goes back to one? It did. I don't know if it went up to the next level or not. The uh, whatever, whatever was halfway between rookie and expert. You mean there's more than one level? Yeah, yeah you can see one at the beginner. Yeah, level two. Yeah, I died on level six. It did. I don't know if it went up to the next level or not. The whatever, whatever was happening. Damon, were you able to get uh, X were running? Damon, were you able to get? You mean there's more than one level? Uh, yeah, it's running, but now I'm having key mapping issues. <laughs> uh, I just usually use um, um keyboard uh, joystick. And then you use your arrow keys and the alt key for fire. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Windows or Mac? Windows or Mac? Yeah, it's running, but now I'm having key mapping issues. I just use Trying to do. Windows or Mac? Have to excuse me with this non-commercial commercial break. Getting a D-type interrupt. Ooh, I got half a ship left in the middle, floating in the middle of nowhere. Half a ship left in the middle, floating in the middle of nowhere. Hmm? Hmm? Half a ship. On my screen, <laughs> one of the ships stayed behind. Oh. One of the ships stayed behind. Oh. Ooh, and I, I can't even shoot through it. Wow. I can't even shoot through it. Wow. Oh, there it disappeared. Ooh, I got half a ship oh, left in the middle, floating in the middle of nowhere. Hmm? Half a ship. On my screen, <laughs> one of the ships stayed behind. Oh. Ooh, and I, I can't even shoot through it. Ah! Oh, yeah. You lose all your men if he gets down to the bottom. You lose all your uh, men if he gets down to the bottom. So they did follow the arcade. So they did follow the arcade. I think that happened on the Atari 2600, too. Yeah. Well, definitely on the Intellivision one. Well, definitely on the yeah. I know on, on Intellivision, I can barely make it past the first level. <laughs> Okay. RTI. Okay. Uh, so did follow the arcade. Dogs were going nuts. So I went to go see what was up when my son was home. But he didn't come in the house immediately. And they go crazy and start barking and whining and such. Television, I can barely make it past the first level. Dogs were going nuts. Went to go see what was up when my son was home. But he didn't come in the house immediately. They go crazy and start barking and whining and such.
Dust fun. Dust fun. <clears throat> yeah, um, as I've said, Missy went to her parents' house to watch her brother's kids, and she comes home every two weeks. This is the weekend she's coming home, so. I've been cleaning the bedroom and kicking up a lot of dust and such. And, oh my God, it's all congested from it. Yeah, I tend to avoid housework for that reason. Well, that'll learn you. Yeah, well. Want a nice clean house for her to come home to? She's only here for for uh, from fr Friday afternoon until Sunday evenings. Sunday afternoon. So I only have to clean it twice a month now because I just clean it the day before she comes and boom, I'm good for two weeks. Well, we don't get to talk to her unless she logs in from there. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, the only computer that her parents have, um, let's just say, if I had the choice, I'd rather use a Coco 3 than their computer. <laughs> well, if I had the choice, I'd rather use a Coco 3 than pretty much any computer. Um, I like Coco the Coco 3. It's probably faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'd use it for spreadsheets or things like that. But... Uh, Hey Jim, do you know much of my history? Nope. My um, my experience with Coco is actually uh, even though I've owned a Coco three for like ten years because a friend of mine gave me one, mm -hmm. um, I've actually only been using it for it'll be a year in last September. So starting September twenty twenty is when I started using a Coco. Oh, that's about the time I got a Coco 3. I had a Coco 1 years and years ago. But yeah. I finally got a 3 now that I can afford it. And of course, that's still yeah. only barely because they're expensive on eBay. <coughs> well, I'm lucky I bought a Coco 3 when I could afford it because, yeah, I couldn't afford one now. Oh, you got one back far enough back that it wasn't so expensive. Huh? Well, I think I paid 250 bucks for mine. Oh, well, that's up there. Wow. That, that's that's up there, yeah. yeah. I mean, I only got it a couple of years ago, but not even a couple of years. Year, maybe a year, a little over a year and a half ago. Fine, I, um, I sold to someone. My original one, which I got 10 years ago, I sold to someone. They needed one and just didn't have the money to buy a new one, so I figured... I don't need three. That's up there, yeah. Because mm -hmm. when I went to uh, Coco Fest, I picked one up. Not even a couple years. Maybe a year. Little. Well, actually, I picked up two. If you're watching the show, you would see the price that I paid, but 
Let's yeah, but say. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but hoping to pick some stuff up at Coco Fest this year. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny because. Oh, and Curtis says that the Coco has some decent spreadsheet programs. That's hard to imagine. But, Are they uh, all OS9? Yeah, probably. The ones he knows about. <laughs> but no, as I was saying, um, back in the day, my actual first actual production commercial computer, and my actual first computer was a Kim 1 clone. But after that, my actual first actual computer was a uh, Commodore Plus 4, which had a um, spreadsheet built in. Oh, yeah. and although that was my first computer, and I used the hell out of it in basic and machine language um when i was in college and because uh, i went to college for electrical engineering mm -hmm. um the uh um uh, fpgas and such weren't a thing back then and you would do use uh even uh, uh pal chips programmable array logics were like new technology in the late 80s well, I would use the uh, spreadsheet in uh, Commodore Plus 4 for doing equations, for reducing uh, logic equations into a... Uh, in reducing them so that I could figure out how many 74 series TTL logics I needed uh, to do a specific design. Curtis says uh, there is a leak calc. DynaCalc, Spectacula Spectaculator, VIP Calc, name a few. Only one of those is OS9. Even Ro yeah. Ro Rainbow had a mini calc as a type in basic spreadsheet. Oh, wow. <coughs> they didn't have VisiCalc for the, uh, for the, uh, Coco? I know they had it for the Model 2, I do believe. I'll have to do a spreadsheet for work on the Coco 3 and see what they think. Yeah. <laughs> and print it off on a TP10 printer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I had a TP10 back in the day. No, nah, GCP 110. <laughs> I've got a TP10 right now. Do you? I've got a that's I like a it. thermal one, right? Yeah, that's that little thermal one that uses like the uh, yeah, that it uses the um, half sheets of paper. Yeah. yeah. Half sheets of paper. Um, Hey, Damon, if I may make a uh, strategy uh, suggestion. Um, <laughs> no, you may not. <laughs> Why not? No, you may not. I've got a TP10 right now. Because if you give him strategy, I won't have the, uh, I'll have, I'll have the worst score this week. <laughs> um, yeah, take them, take them out by columns instead of uh, going across. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it working right now. So, ah. it is. <coughs> no, you may not. So I was just looking on eBay, and there's a Color Computer Three on there right now. Somebody put up for bid. Starting bid is uh, Canadian, nine hundred and fifty-four dollars and twenty-six cents. Ooh, hundred and one dollars shipping. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. I think <laughs> I'm looking at prices like that when I think, well, 250 bucks wasn't that bad. Yeah. Did you hear how much I bought my Coco 3s for? Yeah, one got it donated and the other one was like 10 bucks. No, those were uh, those were the other machines that I got. The Coco oh. one that I got was given to me. Um. The one I paid sixty bucks for, and the other one I got for fifty. I'm looking at prices like that. When or no? Yeah, you did get one for. Yeah, I got one for for fifty, and the other one for ten. Yeah, it was funny because a lot of people were like, "Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of people at Co at Coco Fest, and there's going to be a, there's like a ton of stuff in the auction, so everything's going to go cheap, and because uh, there's so many people there." And we're going to uh, clean up. Well, uh, no, things went, and there wasn't actually very many Coco 3s. 
<laughs> so all the Coco 3s went for a uh, five-digit sum of five-digit numbers. <coughs> yes, that includes the pennies. No, I can say. Yeah. <laughs> five digits, not five significant digits. <laughs> Give it a hundred years. You'll get you'll you'll be able to get five digits out of a Coco three. It'll probably still be worth. You mean after all of us old farts have died off, they're still gonna be worth something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean I, I think what's gonna happen is is that as we as as our generation dies off, they're gonna they're gonna go down in, in value because a lot of kids gonna their parents gonna have them and they're not gonna be like we don't have no use for these and There'll be a few people here and there that'll pick them up, um, like young young people now that are in, interested in old tech, sort of like uh, people like uh, like Catho Ray Dude and mm -hmm. such, and like technology connections, younger people like that that remember it from their older siblings and such, um, but you're not really going to get any kind of major re-interest in it until like a hundred years or so when they become very old, sort of like 50, 60 year old cars now. majority of them are like people that, like me, growing up, wanted a, wanted one of the old cars and just could never afford one. So it'll be the same way. And then because people, so, so many people are concerned with conservation and such, there's going to be a lot more of them available, so the price is going to take a little longer to go up. So like I don't like these new cars. You don't like these new cars? No. Oh, why not? I mean, a couple of items. So on the climate controls... I mean, you got to go through menus to get the thing to do what you want it to do. Yep. And even then, it argues with you because it won't let you put defrost and recycle on at the same time. Even though I am smart enough to know that when the window starts fogging up, I need to switch it back. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I want the heat sweet circ at that moment. <laughs> I'll, I know it's going to fog up soon. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it. Yeah. Yeah, Jim's on level and then, nine. Yeah, and then all this, uh, right yeah. all these uh, driver safety things, <laughs> they're getting to the point you can't turn them off anymore. Yeah. So, so the, so the, so the lane avoidance thing, you know, it uses the camera to spot where the uh, stripes are and yep. keeps an eye. On. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay, fine. Except I'm all over the road. Um, but go through a construction zone where they've striped every wish direction. Oh yeah. To try to steer you into a wall. Absolutely. My uh, my ex has a car, um, a Ford Fusion, I think. It's a, I know it's a Ford something, and it has that automatic steering. And it's like, when I drive her car on occasion, I'd I'd turn it off because I was constantly fighting it. And it was funny because it's like, I live in a very rural area, and you generally, unless there's cars going the other way, you don't, like, stay on the right side of the road because the right, right side of the road, literally you can, the, the, the uh, white stripe can have, like, like roadkill, road dirt, debris, <laughs> branches, and, and all kinds of stuff like over over on the on the white line <clears throat> so generally people will will like their left tires will be on the center lines and that is a pain in the kneecaps in one of those i know one time when i was driving her car it was like it was constantly um dr uh, drowsy driver alert <laughs> you should get some rest yeah, and then you get uh, the dash beeping at you, and it takes your eyes off the road to find out what the hell's beeping. Right. 
will like their left tires will be all yeah I know I, I know one day I was messing with it I just yeah, let go of the steering wheel and I let it just stay in the lanes <laughs> and it said it said put your hands back on the wheel put your hands back on the rest yeah and then you get the yes nanny yeah but let's face it uh, when we were all kids we all wanted night rider for a car so and it was self driving yeah. yeah well that was a little different that actually, you could take a nap yeah that actually <laughs> that actually drove the car it didn't it wasn't driver assist it was full uh, autopilot like the teslas nowadays except yes. the teslas drive through uh <laughs> stop signs and run over pedestrians yeah we're sort of like that woman that got arrested uh she was passed out behind the wheel and the car was like going like off like left and right a little bit in the lane and people called it in and they uh the police had to get in front of the vehicle and st and stop in order for the car to stop because she was like passed out they couldn't get her to wake up well that wouldn't be a bad thing in a medical emergency then you don't just drive right into a wall right yes exactly because that's actually what happened to a friend of mine the street that i grew up with on there was a bunch there was like nine boys and six girls all within like five years of me and the one guy he was driving home from work on an interstate highway had a heart attack and went off the road and right into a, a bridge abutment and it killed him instantly All right, let me try this again. Yeah. So I had a rental car. I drove back last week and it's like, damn, I'm fighting this thing all the way back and I couldn't turn it off. Ah, Ford? But my, but no, this was a Toyota uh, Camry. Ah. But I've got a, the Sienna that's one year newer and I have no problems having it turn, turn off. I got all that stuff turned off. Turn off. I got all that stuff turned off. So I had a rental car. So I don't know if this is something that the rental car company did. And even if you go through the menus and you think you've got it turned off, it just turns right back on. Yeah. Oh, you can't shoot their bullets. But I've got a Sienna that's one year newer, and I have no problems having it turn turn off. I got all that stuff turned off. Well, expert mode is much faster. Yeah, that's what I'm on right now. And even if you go through the menus and you think you've got it turned off, it just turns right back on. Well, I made it to level seven. Woohoo! Yay! Level seven. Woohoo! Oh, geez, I'm looking at my Twitch feed, and I see that we're competing against OG Stevie Stro for a game, for a show. Yep. He, he's overplaying some game on another channel. Jeez. Oh, he should be here. Yeah, that's what I mean. You should do... Uh... You should send him a send him a note uh, pointing out his uh, neglect. <laughs> yeah, well, when I was setting up the stream, because he uses Restream for that too, same Restream account, mm -hmm. I had to I had to turn turn the Restream off on that, and I'm like wondering, did it, what did it do to his stream when I changed it from his OG account to because he was originally. Well, He's still streaming on um, on Twitch right now, so. <laughs> yeah, that's because he's he's streaming directly on his. Oh, okay. Why is it so slow to shoot? Because originally he was streaming on Twitch and all the Coco <laughs> Talk uh, 
all, all the uh, I'm a coconut uh, uh, things, YouTube, Twitch, uh, yes. and uh, whatever the other one is, I don't remember, oh, Facebook. <coughs> and we hijacked them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I was like, at first I didn't realize it because when I was cleaning, I had to lay down because I was hurting. And um, I get up and it's like 20 of 7. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so I'm hurrying and getting everything done. And that's when I realized that his, that's, it's like when he, when he, when he usually broadcasts, there's like, in Restream, there's like all the Coco Talk and then there's all the OG Stevie stuff. And usually when he's streaming, all the OG Stevie stuff is enabled. <coughs> and the Coco Talk stuff is off. Well, all the Coco Talk was on, plus his one OG Stevie, and I was like, what's going on? I, I guess he, he was streaming earlier, because he often does that midweek. And, uh, so I turned his off, turned on the Coco, just left it, changed the, uh, uh, the titles and uh, descriptions, and uh, that's when, then I went over to uh, YouTube, and that's when I realized... That he was streaming, and I was like, "Oops! Hope it didn't mess him up." Yeah, well, looks like I got a cat that ran out the door, so I might have to go chase it down. Oh, you got a C-type interrupt. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, you know, it's 22 degrees outside and falling. He's probably gonna want in soon anyway. Yeah, just let him go. <laughs> the problem will resolve itself. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. All right. Yeah, I let my cat out a little while ago for about 15 minutes on the porch. I don't usually let her go outside. She just sits on a screen, screen-in porch. Yep. After 10 minutes, she came back in and was acting like she had not seen me in like six months. <laughs> Meowing and following me around. And oh, wait a minute here. I got like 970 on expert. 15 minutes on the porch. Don't usually let her go outside. She just sits on a. Hey, think you get some kind of bonus for starting on expert. After 10 minutes, she came back in. So, Curtis, what kind of uh, strategy tips do you have for us? Don't die. And besides, don't die. Don't die. Also, I did look at the uh, stream of what happens. Um, when you get too many uh, lines of uh, things, mm -hmm. and it looks like invaders get stuck over on the right side. Well, that's no good. Don't die. I'll leave uh, the video of what happens uh, um, to uh, be shown on the show on Saturday. I won't show it here. Oh, if you want to show it here, that's fine. We can always reshow it on the Saturday. We can always reshow it on the. Mm. I think this is going to be a little let the problem resolve itself. <laughs> I think this is going to be a little let the problem resolve itself. <laughs> cat sickle. I mean, he was an outdoor cat for I don't know how long before. He decided to be an indoor cat, and I don't know, maybe he wants to be outdoors again. But, like I said, it's a bit nippy out there, so he might change his mind. Like I said, it's a bit nippy out there, so he might Many, many years ago, I used to have a cat. Like, 30 years ago. And, uh, it was technically not mine, mine by virtue, because my friend's, uh, it stayed in my friend's uh, parents' uh, garage, and um, I lived there for a while. And uh, at night, the, the 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 cat and her sister and her mother would stay in the garage, and then during the day, they would they would be let the the door to the garage would be left open, and they would be able to go in and out as they pleased. And they lived on nine acres of land. And uh, a 
couple Plenty times. Plenty of mice. Huh? Plenty of mice. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not, not with these cats. Um, not with these cats. They... The, my cat's name was Maddie. Her sister's name was Maggie. And mother's name was Susie. And evidently when all the mice were gone, probably from a 10-mile radius, because Susie was quite the uh, mouser. Mice, shrews, rats, anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, normally you'll come home and you'll have like a mouse or, or maybe two on your doorstep. When they first got Susie, they had four to seven a day when they would get home. Don't even know where she got them all because there wasn't that many mice in the garage. <laughs> but yeah, when then she had her first litter of uh, kittens. Don't know how she got pregnant, but didn't even know that she wasn't snips. And after she had her first litter, went to get her snipped, couldn't get her snipped because by the time they took her to the vet, she was pregnant again. So then her second litter kept her a little bit more t uh, tied up, which really pissed her off. And that's where Maddie and Maggie came because the rest of the kittens were given away. Well, Maddie was not a very friendly cat. She did not like to be picked up by anyone but me, so I was told that She's my cat. And they were small cats. Like, I mean, literally, you would swear they were kittens if you didn't if you didn't watch them. Because they didn't act like kittens. They acted like cats. <laughs> um, they were probably about, like, from nose to, uh, to uh, where the tail hit, t attaches to the rump. They were, like, maybe 8, 10 inches. Ah, the response time is slow. Yeah. So they're pretty small. Well, evidently, after they got rid of all the mice in a 10-mile radius, they uh, then started going and playing with other things. And Maddie would go out into the woods, because we lived in nine acres of woods, but then there was, like, hundreds of acres beyond that. There was, like, a farm, and then beyond that, hundreds of acres. She would go out into the woods... Get a snake, bring it in the middle of the yard, let it go. The snake would take off for the woods. She would sit there and wait until five seconds after the snake got into the woods and go and chase it and bring it back and do that for hours. Yeah, that's a cruel animal. <laughs> oh, I got my half bad guy stuck in the middle of nowhere again. Hmm. Oh. We must not like you. And then, uh, oh, what's my high school to beat? Yeah, because then, um, uh, my friend's parents also had chickens. And sometimes the chickens wouldn't come into the roost at night, and something would kill the chickens. Well, one night, uh, Maddie didn't want to go in the garage. And, uh, tried to get her in the garage, she would not go. Next morning, we had a dead mongoose on the porch. Huh. So we're getting the chickens, huh? Yep. I'm not, I'm, I don't know if you know a lot about uh, mongooses, but. Oh, the vicious little buggers. Yeah. Generally, the, uh, they're, they're, they're not only vicious, but they are very quick. I mean, they're one of the few natural enemies of snakes. Because snakes are like. Because they're so fast, not many things are fast enough to catch them, and a mongoose is one of them. And Maddie got her, snagged herself a mongoose, so evidently she was quite the hunter and quite fast. John Moth said, uh, file a bug report. <laughs> You would get a letter from, what is it, Mark Data? Yeah. Mark Brew, yeah, well, Mark Brew, uh, I can't remember the name. The guy on the show last week. <laughs> yeah. Bruderer. Yeah. Yeah, file a bug report with him. 
Is he going to come on to the Game On uh, segment this week? Uh, we invited him to drop by if he wanted. Oh, cool. Uh, we invited him to drop by All if right. he wanted. It's always fun when the author's on there. Yeah. I'm a little behind on getting everything done because I've back has been killing me a lot lately. I've been barely having enough time to get done what I need to get done, which I'm not even actually getting everything done. Uh, we invited him to drop by if he wanted. Recap a uh, model. You can day. shoot their bullets. Yeah, they just don't disappear. Yeah, the, their bullets will stop your bullets. Yeah, the, their bullets will stop. Yeah, I said that earlier. All right, let's see here. I'll try expert again. I find it a lot more tolerable. I like playing uh, beginner because it makes me look better. <laughs> I like playing uh, beginner because it makes me look better. Yeah, I said that earlier. <laughs> yeah, it seems that they have two different types of shots. Just a thin line and then the one with the... Uh, the squiggly things. ones. Yeah. Although sometimes the squiggly ones straighten out and... Yeah. Although sometimes the squiggly ones straighten out and... Seems more complicated than I gave it credit for. Seems more complicated than I gave it credit for. I mean, it's a very decent port uh, of Space Invaders. Yeah, it is. Very good. The squiggly ones. Yeah, it is. Although sometimes the squiggly ones straighten out and seems more complicated than I gave credit for. Does the values of the um, uh, what are those shifts that go across the top called? The motherships? Yeah. Do they uh, change? The motherships? Um, value. Um. Doesn't tell you because there's like that hundred um, in the middle. Yeah, I think that's the value of the mothership. So if I shoot and another one, I get two hundred. And so they go up by like fifty each one you shoot. Yeah, the first one per level is fifty, then a hundred, then two hundred. Yeah, the first okay. one per level is fifty, then a hundred, the then two hundred. Yeah, you can shoot them multiple times too. Do you keep getting points if you keep shooting them? Yeah, I think um, I don't know. I saw Buck uh, shoot 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 one twice, and it went from blue to, to orange. The first one per level is. But I didn't notice the score. But I didn't notice the score. Getting points if you keep shooting him? Um, I don't know. I saw Buck uh, shoot, it, shoot, shoot one twice and it went from blue to orange. But I didn't notice the score. Yeah, I think that's the value of the motherships getting points if you keep shooting him. Oh, you can eventually shoot them, their shots. They evidently take three shots to kill. Oh damn, I got the uh the mothership. I got the uh mothership. Space Invaders was like one of the first games we got for the twenty six hundred. Yeah. And so the the mothership, I'm used to calling the bubble gum. Because on a regular NTSC TV they're pink. They look like a blob of bubble gum. So <laughs> My mother always used to call them the bubble gum. Yep, three or four shots. Space Invaders was like one of the first games we got for the 2600. 
four shots. <laughs> John Moss says, uh, it sounds like a drinking game. <laughs> John Moss says, uh, <laughs> it sounds like a drinking game. <laughs> This isn't game on challenge after dark. <laughs> this isn't game on challenge after dark. Although a game on challenge after dark would be fun. Although a game on hmm. challenge after dark would be fun. You're getting lit and playing these games. <laughs> You'd have to get a really trippy game to. <laughs> You'd have to get a really trippy game to. This isn't game on challenge after dark. <laughs> Although a game on challenge after dark would be fun. And why does your screen only say space when it goes to the title screen? Uh, the title screen doesn't show up very well on my color computer three. Uh, uh, probably because it's in that uh, other mode. That like what uh, SG four or something or whatever would like, yeah doesn't display yeah. Yeah, the thing that doesn't work on the Coco 3. Because I played a few games like that where it's just the, the title screen doesn't work, but the rest of the game does. Yeah. Damn it, I keep, I keep missing. missing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Oh, now I remember. I'm on playing on medium so it's harder they shoot a lot more on medium they do yeah. they yes they do move faster Yeah, they also go a lot faster when you get to the last one. Yeah, they also go a lot faster when you get to the last one. I have a, a feeling I'm not going to get to the last one on medium, so. I'm not going to get to the last one on medium. Ah! Dang it. I didn't get my sh Dang it. Well, like I said, there's my score. Yeah, the one on the left is your high score, and I'm not gonna get to the last one on medium. Ah, one on the right is current score. Dang it! One on the right is current I did play one interesting uh, variation on a uh, Space Invaders a long time ago. I'm not sure which machine it was on. I think it might have been a Commodore, one of the Commodore machines, like the Plus 4 or maybe the Big 20. <laughs> when you'd shoot their, their um, falling... Um, Um, shots they would actually come down and add to your uh, shields if they were in the shield area hmm, I've never seen that one yeah always wondered about the logic behind that what when you shoot when you shoot them the uh, <laughs> the explosives become inert. Yeah, optimistically, I don't shoot a lot of the uh, motherships because I figured if it gets flaky when you get to the third row of them, you'll probably be able to get a higher score by not having that many of them stacked up. But that's the way to actually get points is you keep shooting them and uh, like if you can shoot shoot each mothership two or three times per go, 
I mean, you're getting over a thousand points per hit. Yeesh. That's the reason people like Buck Owens are able to get like 20 some odd thousand points. Um, what is it? What does it go? What, what's the maximum point value? I don't know. Uh, I've just noticed that if you actually shoot it, it's like if you shoot the same one twice, the point value goes up higher for the next. Ah. Like every time you hit it, it goes 50 to 100 to 200 to 500. Buck said he saw 900 once. Okay, so Sloopy, how are you shooting so fast? Are you playing on a more advanced difficulty? Yes. Because I noticed on the normal one, it's super slow. Yeah. Yeah, intolerably slow. But it can also make you look better. <laughs> yeah, I just found the normal difficulty to be very, very painfully slow. It is. Yeah. If you go to if you go to meet like the medium, it's. It is. If you go to if you go to meet like. You know, a get a better. good score. <laughs> get play it play it once on the low. Get a really good score for submitting, and then uh, play on higher ones just for fun. Has anybody tried it on double speed poke on a Coco three? Not yet. Not yet. Nope. Wonder if you could do that and still play it on a uh, normal, but have it just be faster and smoother. Well, Give me a second. Here. Problem is, is that when you're when you're not on like the easy mode, when you're on like the uh, pro mode or whatever it's called, expert, yeah. they're harder. It's, well, you might see double. <laughs> they, they move a little bit faster, but the big problem is the your your lag for shooting. Right, because I noticed like if you get hit. It pauses, and while you're paused and can't shoot, the UFO is already halfway across the screen. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it. You can only shoot one bullet at a time, so it has to go off the screen before you yeah, can shoot. Yeah, but when you when you respawn after a death, you can't move. You're frozen in time. Oh yeah. And then ha during that time, the UFO is halfway across the screen before you can even fire anything again. Okay, so I like how the... you get that middle row out right away. Yeah, I wonder if you play it on easy on a double speed, if it will, if it's frame locked or if it'll run twice as fast. Okay, what's the double speed poke again? Uh, uh, well, it's a six five four nine seven, comma zero. Seven comma zero. Comma anything really, but yeah. Okay. Um, Yeah, I got to play it a couple times. I didn't get a great score. I got like 3,600 or something. Not super. Uh, yeah, so because it's on a Coco 3, you can't see the screen. So just try moving it all yep. the way to the left and hitting the button. Oops. Oh, look, it looks faster. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is on easy, right? This is, I'm pretty sure it's on easy. I'm always kind of guessing if I moved it far enough to. Pretty sure it's on easy. I'm always kind of guessing if I moved it far enough. Yeah, so the semi-graphics mode that it's using, because it's a mixture of graphics and text, Coco 3 can't do that. Yeah. But it works uh, that BCC. Is, that's definitely faster. And I don't remember if you had to move the joystick left or right or up and down. to. Move. It's up, up and down. down. Up okay. is easy, down is hard. Okay, so you moved it all the way up to put it on easy? Oops. I believe I did, yes. Okay. Yeah, got him. It's definitely faster. Oh yeah. Well, oh, yeah. this is faster than medium anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, it's like actually playable now. <laughs> you might even have a chance to hit the damn UFOs now. Now, can we talk to the organizer of this to see if the double speed poke is considered a cheat or not? <laughs> no, double speed poke is fine. You guys, are you guys, uh, you guys, good friends with the people running this show? Uh, the, uh, Lord, the Lord, the uh, game on uh, High Council. We uh, we know people. Oh, you know people. All right. Yeah, we know people on the council. <laughs> don't they have those guards that don't speak standing outside their palace? Yep. How you feeling, Sloopy? You sound better. 
Um, I'm hurting. I was cleaning today, and just not. Don't they have still yeah, not 100%, but yep. still not 100%, that was weird. I lost all audio for a minute. Or did Sloopy just pause in his talking? Or did Sloopy could be, and everyone else was just quiet. That could I'm, be. I'm, I'm concentrating on the game. Yeah, I'm trying to shoot this little last dude. Beep. Yeah. yeah. The lag in it is terrible. The lag from the shot, you mean? Oh, that starts off at a lower level now, too, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, it's very difficult because they... You uh, have to get them, but... I'm concentrating on the game. Yeah, you might want to try taking out that bottom row. I know it's kind of hard. We were kind of pinned in a spot there. Oh, good shot there, Sloop. Thank you. You see, it's very difficult to get them because... Right, and then see, like, when you respawn, you can't... There's a, You're, like, locked out from shooting for a period. Mm-hmm. Although I just got one off a of respawn. Yeah, this is going to be the death of me doing this. See? Yeah, this is going to be the death of me. Well, I would say that on the double speed poke, I'm not going to get a better score, but it's more fun. All right, let's highlight you and take a look. How's the responsiveness of the uh, of the shooting? Is it any better? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, double speed seems to be on point here. It's like freaking flying, man. Yeah, but see that. I'm not talking about the speed on the, the speed of the shots themselves. I'm yeah, no, the about... the the joystick button seems more responsive. Like I'm I'm uh, hitting the but it's yeah I'm hitting the button to fire right now rather You're than about holding the it from the time you press the button to the time the shot fires. <laughs> yeah, especially when they get faster. Yeah, especially when they get faster. Oof. Oh, I just missed them. Yeah, double speed for the win. It looks like here. All right. Let's try that out. Seems more responsive. Like I'm, I'm hitting the It's yeah, I'm hitting the You kids and your emulators. Kids these days. No, I know. Pop the thousand dollars Canadian down and buy that Coco Three, somebody. Back in my day, we didn't have emulators. We had to use real hardware. <laughs> You don't have to do the dot bin when you do load M. It knows it's binary. You don't have to do the dot bin when you do load M. It knows it's binary. Yeah, my mind's not working as well as it should. I actually typed in run run when I loaded the last time. <laughs> oh yeah, it's basic. <laughs> but then why are you having to reload? Because I'm running the high speed poke. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely funner with the high speed poke. Yeah, my mind's not working as well. Yeah, it's definitely funner. So it's yeah, not it's frame locked, so that means you can. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more responsive with the. But then why you having to reload? A little bit more responsive. The high speed poke. Oh, the high speed poke. That's good to know. Hmm. Yeah, you're tearing them up, man. You're clearing those rows lickety split. There we go. I guess that's a new segment on the Game On Challenge. Will it high speed poke? <laughs> I hit that damn thing. What's the poke again? 65497. Well, it's almost kind of there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so that first hit was a 50 pointer on the uh, UFO. So I guess it doubles for a while. Yeah, it doubles each time. 
Yeah, yeah, Buck was saying he's seen it get up to about 900 as the highest he's seen. Yeah, Buck was saying he's seen it get up to about 900 as the highest he's seen. <laughs> Yeah, the the firing is a little bit more responsive than without the double speed poke, but it's still. Well, it's not it's not a hundred percent responsive, but it's way better than it was. Yeah, it's not as responsive as moving left and right. I mean, moving left and right is like spot on, but I guess it takes time for the command to get to the to the torpedo bay for them to. Yeah. Good hit there, Sloop. Thank you. Okay, double speed on hard. Oh, shit. No, thanks. Some people are crazy. Hold the beer. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at, the, look at the fall, man. It's like raining bullets on your ass right now. <laughs> oh, my God. That's insane. Oh, and they drop so fast, too. <laughs> It's raining bullets, dude. It's like a hailstorm. <laughs> oh, it seems that there's different the types of bullets. And the different types of bullets that they drop take different uh, amounts to uh, die. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, I'm going for the glutton. Hold my beer. Shoot, look at those things, man. It's like raining bullets, man. Holy crap. Harder than the arcade. <laughs> it's funny. I just got this um, Space Invaders thing on my Xbox that has got, like, all these modern new types of levels. It's got the same old graphics, but it makes it look modern and fast, and it's got all these different variants on how you can shoot and how they attack. So it's like a new spin on the old classic, and I started playing that this week too. Uh, we had this game on the list, you know. I started playing that this week too. Uh, we Harder than the arcade. The list, you know? <laughs> it's funny. I just got this um, space invader. Yeah, like that bullet only took two, two shots for me to kill. Yeah, have you noticed that sometimes you can shoot the bullets that are falling, and sometimes you can't? Well, no. It's just that some bullets take more shots to die than others. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Good shot there, Mark B. Kick him all the up, kick him all the down, kick him all the up, kick him all around. Uh oh, this is gonna get real. This is gonna get real, real there, Mark B. This is a pretty damn good Space Invader game. It's got a, it's that, got a couple little. That glitchy. was too fast for me to. Yeah, when they get down low on hard double speed this, poke. This last one's a bugger. <laughs> it's over. They're firing way too hard fast. All right, Sloopy, Got him. Can, hey. You, you should you should highlight Mark Sloopy. Hey. You, you should you should highlight Mark Sloopy. Yeah, Mark's doing pretty good. Uh, I have to try this on the, yeah, I, I did it on the Coco Pie, just emulating a normal Coco 2. I'm going to have to try it on a Coco 3 next time I play. Yeah, I would say high speed poke for the win, because it's just way too sluggish. Not anymore! <laughs> hey, Damon, how you doing? Oh, not doing bad. Watching it sleet and rain here tonight. Hopefully, I'm over that. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm over that. Yeah, I would say high speed poke for the win because it's just 
way too sluggish. Oh, I can see who's Nitro with your 1080p and your little Nitro logo next to your names there. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pantses. Nitro. Yeah, some people have Discord Nitro accounts, so when you look oh. at their stream, you see the little Nitro logo, and it says 1080p instead of 720p. Well, you set the stream. When when you when you select stream, okay, you can select the yeah. uh, resolution. All right. Well, you know, Coco needs Coco needs 1080p. <laughs> Yeah, so it's not the same with Heck that. with that, we need 4K. 4K. Well, that's my first Coco. Had well, I should I had 16K in my first Coco, so. I can't believe it's Friday. Oh no, it's not Friday. Tomorrow's Friday though. This week is just flying by. Yeah, I actually work from home half a day today. So that's what this game sounds like. The sound of silence. The sound of concentration. <laughs> so, Stevie, are you going to play in stream? No, no, I just happened to see you guys. I was streaming on my Xbox for a little bit, but um, it's getting close to um, turning into a pumpkin time, so I'm going to go watch something on TV and then crash. Yeah, I know. I saw you streaming. I, uh, I was like... I yes. didn't realize it at first. I'm hearing you? I was uh, setting up the restream IO. Sound of concentration. <laughs> yeah, I have to save it up. They they added Twitch back to the Xbox, so I can stream straight from my Xbox. Nice. Yeah. Coco talk from your Xbox. <laughs> what? Well, eh, but I couldn't get anybody to join. And I wonder if I could do. I wonder if there's Zoom for the Xbox. There's probably Skype, which blows, but um, I don't know. It's theoretically send, possible. Send me an Xbox, and I'll test it out for you. Yeah, me too. I won't yeah. even be greedy. Just an Xbox 360. I have one of those. I have an Xbox. But people keep, when I say I have an Xbox and show it to them, they're like, that's not what I meant. Big huge honking thing is actually sitting right over there. Send me an Xbox and I'll test it out for you. Yeah, me too. I got one that looks like R two D two. Oh yeah. Well, the Xbox there's a there's a lot of um, great uh, classic games that are emulated on, and even on the three hundred and sixty, there's lots of emulated arcade games on the Xbox three hundred and sixty. <coughs> so it's a great little retro console to play old games. And then there's a lot of modern games that are like re reimagined old games. Like uh, there's one called Pac-Man 256 that's really cool. It's all based on that glitched screen. Um, I found this really cool Space Invaders IX or something. It's, it's cool. It's like it's still black and white. It looks like it's a hybrid of raster and um, vector art. So it still has an old kind of tube CRT look to it, but they mix up like make some of the sprites bigger some of them smaller and it's just a cool it it looks classic but it plays modern you know so there's a lot of things like that too where they like newer tetris games and stuff so uh, yeah most of those emulators will run on any of the system on my tv in my living room that actually has uh, emulators for all the systems and i have um adapters to use the original controller for the system um the atari the uh nintendo uh sega genesis sega master system oh lord uh, john, yes john no it's the original xbox the first released one all right the original xbox 
Yeah, yeah. that thing has been, that thing's been modded and hacked so many times. Yeah, yeah how'd you know? That thing's been modded and hacked so many times. <laughs> I mean, in general, that yeah. console. Well, yeah. I've actually got one of those sitting in a crate behind me. I've just never got it working yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's actually... where um, that's where Cody came from. Was the old Xbox yeah. Media Center app that was available on the jailbroken, modded and hacked Xboxes, where people yeah. like ripping M stuff on there. MBXC. Yeah, MBX something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, Microsoft Xbox uh, Media Center. Oh, okay. yeah. I've actually got one of those sitting in a crate behind. Um, yeah, now John mounts in the um, in the chat said a cardboard box with an X on it. No. Uh, well, I'm no, not watching. My Xbox is the, the original big green monster. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting one of those, but I'm not going to pay a ton of money for them. Every now and then you see them. I wouldn't mind having one because I never had one back in the day. I started on the 360 and I have everything since then. Yeah. I actually got it to uh, for media streaming. At one time, I had a 120 gig hard drive in it, and a whole bunch of movies. Yeah, yeah. Because if you uh, if you hacked it, you could basically rent the games, rip them, and rip them straight to your hard drive and play them off the hard drive. Yeah. Back when you could rent games at Blockbuster, you know. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did the soft mod on it so I could do that, and I had uh, like four or five games on it. Um. I stopped using it because I didn't really play it much. Yeah. Another thing that was cool is you could rip your CDs to the hard drive and then play your own uh, playlist mm -hmm. while you're playing a game. And that, that had not really been done before on consoles. <laughs> it was basically a PC. It was a Pentium 3 with yeah. an NVIDIA card and a IDE hard drive, you know? Yeah, it was basically just a, uh, a stripped-down PC. Yeah. Just that they were able to do more with it because it was always the same in every single machine, so you didn't have to have APIs that could handle anything. Right. Well, the API was DirectX. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't have the operating system. You don't have the whole big, fat, bloated Windows operating system, so you you know a smaller kernel to deal with. See, and I was always a PlayStation person. Yeah. I, I never was, but my wife has one. And when I first met her, she was still playing like Final Fantasy VII and stuff. And she, well, I still, we still have her original PlayStation too. Yeah, I was more of a PlayStation person myself. Yeah. Fact, I just saw the Uncharted movie last night, and I've never seen or played the game, but I, I knew it was a game that was on the PlayStation, and I saw it with a friend of mine. It was actually pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah John. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Yeah, John says he is a a PS3 that he bought for a Blu-ray player. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I bought actually, the PS2 originally yeah. as a DVD player. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the PS2. Yeah, the PS2 is when they started DVD, right? Or was it PS3? Yeah. yeah. PS2 had was a just a. It was way cheaper than buying any um, DVD player on the yeah. market, and yeah, you could play games on it too. The way I got my first the, uh, PS2 in the house was I told. Uh, I told my uh, ex that uh, I says, "Hey, I got you a DVD player." She took one look at it, looked at me, and looked at it, and looked at me, and she goes, "Is that your final answer?" Yeah. You need to phone a friend. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's "Well, definitely, it's definitely smoother on the double speed poke. It looks good." Composite. Turn on the composite. Composite. Turn on the composite. Ooh, they got red eyes. They're evil. Ooh, they got red eyes. They're evil. It's definitely smoother on the double speed poke. It looks good. All right. All right, guys. You guys have a good night. All right. All right. You too. Okay. You see you. Game on, dudes. All right. See you Saturday. Game on, Garth. Game on, dude. Composite. See you Saturday. All right, let's try this again. Yep, I gotta go take the dogs out, so I'm done for a while too. But I got extra working, so that's good. Oh, cool. But I got extra working, so that's good.
All right, guys, you guys have a good night. All right, you too. Okay, see you see you later. Later. Game on, dudes. See you Saturday. Game on, Garth. Yep, I gotta go pick the dogs out. So I'm done for a while too. But I got extra working, so that's good. Ooh, got up to level four on <clears throat> double speed poke. Woohoo! Got up to level four. Yay! On double speed poke. Woohoo! Yay! Oh, master level. <laughs> Up to level four on <clears throat> double speed poke. Woohoo! Yay! Double speed poke. Oh, and master level? <laughs> Well, I'm going to jump off for a little bit and go have supper, so. Tacos? Yeah, what's for dinner? No, not tacos. Tonight, um, what am I having for supper tonight? Uh, not tacos. Tonight, um, what am I having for supper tonight? Uh, I think just, uh, no, I have no idea. <laughs> Food. I can, I can smell it, but it smells like chicken. Yeah. I, can, I can smell it, but it smells like chicken. So I will be back. So you could be having anything. I uh, could. From rattlesnake to muskrat. I hope it's muskrat. I hope it's muskrat. I think just, I have no idea. I can smell it, but it smells like chicken. So I will be back. I could. Uh, from rattlesnake to muskrat. <laughs> I hope it's muskrat. Yeah, he got him. Yeah, he got him. Yeah, he got me. Yeah, he got me. He got me. Um, I don't answer your question on Discord because I haven't seen it. I don't answer your question on Discord because I haven't seen it. He got me. your 
question on this board. I'm still here, but I'm having to work on payroll because I have to go in tomorrow morning or people aren't getting paid. Ah, don't forget to put in my overtime. I'm still here, but I'm having to work on payroll because I have to go in tomorrow morning or people aren't getting paid. Ah, don't forget to put in my overtime. As I said, when I can get to it. As I said, when I can get to it. You missed the mothership. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot. <coughs> Have a tendency to get killed chasing it down. Yeah, I don't. I don't bother trying to go for him. Yeah, I don't. I don't bother trying to go for him. to get killed chasing it down. Yeah, I don't I don't bother trying to go for him. Amy, which uh, emulator are you using? Are you using a real machine? Amy, which uh, emulator are you using? Are you using a real machine?
and you're using um, and you're using um, load M instead of just load. Instead of just load, Okay. Okay. So you about done, Jim? Um, I don't know. You you fading? Huh? I don't, I, I don't know. Are you fading? I'm just not feeling great. Oh, okay. As I said when I started. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably. So. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. You fading? Yeah. You guys have a good evening. All right. See ya. Bye. Oh, okay. And. <clears throat> Yeah, Amy, if you want, you can try uh, joining the, if you're on the Discord, asking in the, uh, the Cocoa Lobby or the hardware section, and uh, they'd be able to help you a lot easier and go through it. Step by step, see what, what the major malfunction is. So, with saying that, this is the uh, end of our show today. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Watching on the uh, streams in various places. Uh, join us Saturday when the uh, high scores are uh, listed and uh, we find out what the game for next week is. No, uh, I'm not ignoring you. I'm ending the show.
Ah, they're on there. Let's see here. What is your name on uh, what is your name on, uh, on Discord, Amy? On Discord, I'm ending the show. Ah, they're on there. Let's see. What is your name on? Uh, ah. There you go. There you go. Mark, because I have to get it together. And it's in various boxes because it hasn't been pulled apart yet. I'm still looking for parts of it. That's not easy for me to do at the moment because I can barely move. I mean, literally, I, if you're watching the stream from the beginning, I was saying that I wasn't if you're watching the stream from the beginning I was saying that it was cleaning my room literally that was literally just sweeping the floor and literally that and uh just sweeping the floor dusting a little bit and that got me to the point where I had to lay down dusting a little bit and that got me to the point where I had to lay down yeah Amy, it's the the intro you just need to put yeah they they liked you to put your uh, at least your first real name and but the rest of it was fine so but yeah, you've been approved now. You have full uh, access. Yeah, Mark. Um, literally, my <laughs> if I showed you my workbench in the bedroom, it's there's stuff on there that's been on there for five, four or five years. I just haven't been able to get to it. And when I was out looking for your stuff, I also found other stuff that I didn't even know. And I have to ship that stuff back, too, that I didn't even know that I had. So, all right. Thank you for watching the show.